Maine. And now joining us on the phone is Sergeant Dylan Cates of Choctaw County, Mississippi Sheriff's Department. Uh, Sergeant, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, tell us about your night so far this evening. How have things been in your county? What do you expect? We're looking at some pictures likely from your county. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for having me. Yes, I sent you those photos. Around 5.19 p.m. this afternoon, we were alerted that there was a tornado on the ground in our in a community called Biowife. The storm was tracking westbound, and it actually made landfall on Hester Road near the Natchez Trace, um, then continued crossing Highway 15 near Sherwood OCL Road, and the, um, going partially into Oxabal County before dissipation. So we're seeing about five, um, four county power association is reporting about 5,500 homes without power. We're seeing trees down um, all throughout that area. Homes are seeing severe damage. There was one where a camper was actually flipped completely on its roof. Um, small town buildings destroyed. There was a house on Johnson Road there in the Sherwood community that the roof was actually lifted off of the house twisted 180 degrees and drops back down on the home. Wow. Um, thankfully, we have no reports of any injuries at this time. There was a vehicle accident um, caused in relation to the storm, but no one was injured in that. So we're thankful that we've had no major injuries and no homes destroyed, but some severely damaged. Yeah, it sounds like severe damage. You mentioning that home where the roof was uh, completely lifted up maybe 100 f feet and dropped back down on the home. Really incredible to hear that uh, people, if they were in their home, of course, I don't know that fact, uh, but they were not injured, as you're reporting, no injuries. So what does it look like for the rest of your night? Obviously, a lot of people in these communities now without power, a lot of people may want to venture out, see some of the damage and start surveying some of the damage. But again, we have to remind people that severe threat is going to enhance maybe again for some of these communities. So what do you say to people in these communities as we start to see some of this damage this evening? Absolutely. So we have emergency crews as well as volunteers and the power company clearing power lines that are across the roadway. We're blessed with volunteers and people who are helping uh, homeowners cut their way out of their driveways and get uh, trees off the home. We're asking civilians to stay at home. If you are not a with a church organization that has a certified or has an established team or a fire department, we're asking people stay at home, stay off the roadways, as this creates a hazard not only for them as there's debris and things in the roadway, but also for us and the crews that are working because. Uh, the road conditions, obviously, they're wet, it's dark, you can't see, and you could end up striking an emergency worker. And so it's best right. if you don't have to be on the road, just stay at home and stay, stay sheltered. And also the power lines, it will be hard to see those if you're traveling about the area. In terms of the power, uh, 5,000 people without power, do you know when that could be restored for some of those people? So our Four County Electric Power Association is a group of hardworking guys. They're out now working on getting these poles going. More than likely with the damage that I've seen, I would estimate it will be um, Wednesday afternoon to Thursday before power is completely restored. All right, within the next 24 hours, maybe even a little bit longer, as we can hear there, a lot of work to be done. Sorry to see and hear about some of the destruction in those communities. Hoping for a safe rest of your evening. Uh, Dylan Cates, Sergeant Dylan Cates of Choctaw County, Mississippi, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Y'all have a great night. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.